Today we'll be talking about the Warren Buffett effect and why I agree and why I want you to avoid it. Okay, so when I think of like the Warren Buffett effect and the Warren Buffett model, um, it's really what got me started in trading. So um, just a real quick bio. So I, I started a business right out of high school. I was a tech entrepreneur. So I really didn't trade for about 10 or 12 years. Uh, basically started the business 94, 95. Didn't start trading in till about 04, 05. And people ask, you know, why? Well, I was building a business. I was working 100 hours a week and I was broke, okay? Because it was a startup. Basically, every dollar we made went back into the business. So fast forward to 2005, 2006, two things happened. The business was now a decade old. Um, I had some employees, so I didn't have to work 100 hours a week. And it was profitable. So basically, the two things happened was I now had some time and now I had some money, okay? Cool, awesome, okay? I didn't have those things for the decade before. I had neither, okay? Didn't have any time, didn't have any money. So I'd always been interested in trading, literally going back to elementary school, high school. I'd, I'd been reading the Wall Street Journal. I, I always wanted to know, like, you know, and, and obviously I lived through the dot-com boom. We were a technology company. I mean, we were installing 3Com products, Northern Telecom products, okay, Avaya, you know, some uh, uh, MCI WorldCom data circuits, you know, a lot of these these uh, Lucent technology modems, kind of like if, if you're old like me, you'll remember a lot of these names that were these high flyers during the dot-com boom and all crashed and burned together. 90% of them are out of business, et cetera. But I didn't trade those companies or trade the dot-com boom because I was too busy installing their products and building networks and doing all this stuff. So that's why I didn't trade the dot-com boom, but I was still watching it. I was like, wow, look at these stocks move. I mean, you know, 1,000% runners and 10,000% runners and all this mania. So anyway, I missed that. I was just too busy. And 05, 06, now I got some money and I got some time. So I start looking to trade and always had respected Warren Buffett um, and obviously made a lot of money in the markets. And I started following what they, you know, what's traditionally called like the Warren Buffett model. And, and, and if you research that, you'll know, like Warren will tell you, you know, if you, if you if you love your Chevy truck, we'll we'll buy some General Motors. If you if you love your iPhone, buy some Apple. If you love Coca Cola, buy some Coca Cola. And so I started doing that. I kind of started, you know, I'm trading some Apple. I was a big Apple fan, going all the way back to my Apple II in the '80s. Um, you know, trading some of what I would call these real stocks. And what's crazy is, and I look back. I was actually really good at it. Like, like I was a really good stock picker. I, I, I think for, and I, I can't, I struggle sometimes to explain this, but I think I am blessed with some sort of just like natural ability when it comes to the stock market. And I don't say that to brag. It's just like, I mean, I was literally in elementary school in the 80s looking at stocks. Like there's just like, I'm, I think I'm just wired for this in some way. But anyway, I, you know, I, I, I trade all these real companies that I believe in, that I use, that I, you know, I, the products and stuff. And I get to the end of the year and I have this crazy win rate, like an amazing win rate, but the gains are just, you know, we're talking single digit percentage across the board. And then I look at the S&P 500 and, you know, let's say the S&P 500 is up, you know, 8% and I'm up 7%. So I'm like, okay, I spent hundreds of hours this year, maybe thousands of hours, trying to you know do this on my own and I proceeded to basically maybe meet or even lose to the S&P 500 and I could have just put my money in an index fund and done zero work. Like zero, I could have given it to Vanguard or whatever and just did nothing and I would have made the same amount of money. So I'm like, forget this. So that's the point with the Buffett model is I think it works, it worked for me but it only works if you got Warren Buffett money at the end of the day. Like you look at the money he makes, but he's trading billions of dollars. If, hey, I'll take 7% on 10 billion. Not a bad payday, okay? Now, most of you, and you go back to when I got started, you know, I started trading, even though I was doing well with the business, I started out with a small stake. I, you know, I, I, I knew that there was a good chance that you know, I'd blow up or bad things would happen. So I started out with a small stake and I'm guessing most of you are starting out with a small stake, whether you're doing it because you want to or because you have to, probably a lot of you are have to. So I'm like, well, this is pointless. I'm wasting my time. I'm burning hours and hours and hours for basically nothing. I mean, literally nothing. Even though I made money, I could have just put it in that index fund. 
So then I came to penny stocks and day trading. Found a book by Tim Sykes called The American Hedge Fund. Um, I think I was one of the like, I think I bought it like the second day it was released and it was luck. I, I was buying every trading book I could and the, it came up in the Amazon recommendations. Like, hey, there's a stock trading book. So I read that book and immediately find out about penny stocks, day trading, short selling, all of these strategies that are kind of mainstream today. Like, it's kind of funny, a lot of you might be surprised, but you go back to, you know, this is now probably 07-ish, maybe 08-ish. Back then, like, it was day trading, penny stocks, short selling penny stocks. Like, a lot of this stuff was just like, nobody knew about it. And even if you did know about it, even less did it. Like, and here I'm looking at this, I'm like, this is the most consistently repeatable strategy out there. This is where all the opportunity is. So once I learned to avoid that traditional Buffett model of trading boring stocks that you believe in and recognizing the momentum and the, and the, the, the manipulation and, and the volatility of these stocks, now I can make re, I can make 20% in five minutes. I can make 100% in an hour. Now I can move the needle and actually, quote unquote, make real money. So that's about 2009. That's when I really found, finally found true success in the market. So once I remembered, or once I learned, forget this buy and hold crap, day trade momentum, baby. Now, you gotta know the patterns, you gotta know the setups, you gotta know the stuff to look for, and what, and the best way to do that is to check out the daily income trader system. Down below, there's gonna be a link to the Daily Income Trader System webinars six times a day, every trading day, as well as on weekends, I think two a day on Saturday and Sunday. And they start out early and they go late into the night. I think the latest one is 9 p.m. Eastern. And they're 100% free, that's the thing. So click that link, book a time that'll work for you, whether it be tomorrow or the next day, you'll get the calendar, it'll be right there. And live, again, 100% live, and you're seeing the system play out in front of you. So that's the best way to recognize the best stocks. We use Oracle every day, we use breaking news, we use the chart patterns that we trade every single day. And I tell you, when it comes to moving, and I don't really call, care what size account, small, medium, intermediate. If you're really trying to move the needle, you can trade the Buffett model, you can watch CNBC, you can watch the mainstream media, and you're gonna be up single digit percent after a year and probably spend hundreds or thousands of hours like I did. Or you can learn how to spot volatility, learn how to spot catalysts, learn how to spot hot sectors, learn how to spot chart patterns. That's what we, that's what we do every single day. The best way to do that, check out the Daily Income Trader System, and we'll see you there.